Today we will discuss about difference between centrifugal pump and reciprocating pump. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So in case of centrifugal pump, it is used for low head and high discharge. It is used for high head and low discharge. So it is very important point centrifugal pump is suitable for low head whereas reciprocating pump is suitable for high head. Similarly, centrifugal pump is suitable for high discharge whereas reciprocating pump is suitable for low discharge. Discharge means you can say flow rate. Next, discharge is continuous and smooth in case of centrifugal pump. Discharge is fluctuating and pulsating. So in case of reciprocating pump, the discharge is not continuous in amount that means it is fluctuating. So let me show you the figure of centrifugal pump and reciprocating pump. Here in the centrifugal pump, this impeller is rotated continuously and so that this flow is continuously flowing and so that you will get the discharge in continuous form. Whereas in case of reciprocating pump, first the suction will occur and then discharge. So for the reciprocating pump, the discharge is in the form of pulsating. At the same time, piston having accelerated and deaccelerated motion and so that the discharge is fluctuating. If you want to see in detail about the centrifugal pump as well as the reciprocating pump, then you can refer my earlier video of centrifugal pump as well as the video of reciprocating pump. Next, it is a high speed pump, it is a low speed pump and you can understand in the centrifugal pump, the impeller is rotated and so that high speed is possible. Whereas in case of reciprocating pump to and fro motion and so that it is not possible to run at high speed. So due to high speed it can be directly coupled to electric motor. Due to low speed it can be coupled to electric motor through the clutch. Cavitation is not a major problem in case of centrifugal pump. Whereas cavitation and separation occurs with increase in speed in case of reciprocating pump. It works on principle of rotodynamic. It works on principle of positive displacement. So the reciprocating pump is in the category of positive displacement pump. Next, torque on the shaft is uniform in centrifugal pump because of having only the circular motion in one direction. Whereas, torque on the shaft is not uniform in the reciprocating pump because there is a to and fro motion. That means the direction is changed in case of reciprocating pump. It has high efficiency. It has low efficiency. Operation is smooth and without noise because of there will be no any major sliding motion. Whereas in case of reciprocating pump operation is very noisy because of there is a sliding motion between the piston and cylinder. Maintenance cost is less. In case of reciprocating pump, maintenance cost is more because of the sliding motion between the piston and cylinder. No air vessel is required in case of centrifugal pump. In reciprocating pump, air vessels are required. It can handle dirty water. It cannot handle dirty water. It is compact and occupy less space. It occupies 5 to 8 times more space for the same discharge. Next, weight is less, weight is more if you compare with the same power. It requires simple foundation, it requires heavy foundation. In reciprocating pump, there will be to and fro motion, and so that heavy foundation is required. Priming is necessary. Priming is not necessary. Foot wall is required in case of centrifugal pump. Foot wall is not required. So thanks my dear friend. Press the like button to appreciate this video.